Hey Chase, Jeremy here with the video that I promised you showing you how you can beat out your competition on Google. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can do yourself to improve your rankings and show you how we do it as well. Uh, so as you can see, I've got your website pulled up here and I haven't closed this out. Uh, th this being a pop-up, um, I'm not sure, like as a roofing contractor, do you have a lot of people coming to your location or are you guys more uh, phone call business and, and going to their site? I would think you're more um phone call or or uh, going to the site so this kind of seems like it's out of place being a pop-up there um personally i don't like pop-ups anyway um so but i i think this one right here is kind of uh kind of out of place um to put your new location there um so the first thing really we're going to talk about is content uh content is king i mean you've probably heard that before but content's basically the amount of words on your site and Google pays attention to content for two basic reasons. One is they see you as an expert and authority on your, on your, in your industry. And they give you trust value for that and rank you higher for that. Okay. Second reason is so you can input more keywords into your, uh, into your website. Okay. So what they, what Google likes to see is about 1500 to 2000 words on the homepage of a site and about uh, 500 to 750 on each back page of the site. Okay, so I'm going to scroll through your site here a little bit and I'm going to see how much content you have. Um, I love your layout, though. Um, I, I, yeah, I love it that you, you, know, you got some interaction here, um, which is great when customers come to your site. So um, a little bit of content there, a little some content there, some content. There. You've actually got a decent amount of content here. Not quite the 1500 to 2000. It doesn't look like. Um, actually, you might be pushing that 1500. Let's see. No, no, you're probably around 1000 to 1200. Okay. So, um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at your, your, your keywords in your backlink, uh, uh, profile. So this is ARS. It's one of the tools we use. Um, you have 382 keywords that's showing up on Google. That's actually quite a bit. Um, and, uh, you, you're getting 227 organic traffic per month. That's, that's not bad. Okay, so you have 611 backlinks. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at your keywords first and uh, see what we got here. So, oh, it looks like you got some blogs, uh, some blog stuff going on here. So let's let's go ahead and get you uh, see what you're ranking high for. Uh, you're ranking high for your branding. That's great. Um, siting installation in Indianapolis, you're, you're getting number one for. That's good. Um, your siting page is ranking for roofing. That's kind of odd. Um, roof replacement, you're ranking number three. Siting companies in Indianapolis, you're ranking number four. So you get enough, you, you got some good ranking for siting, but not necessarily roofing. Like I, I'm seeing now, now I'm starting to see some of the roofing. So you're you're actually you're actually on first page for a lot. So it does it's not going to take much to get you into like number one two spot um, for for a lot of these keywords. Okay. Um, yeah, you're actually ranking pretty good for a lot of keywords here. Okay, so so that's why you're getting the the uh, the traffic that you're getting is because you're ranking good for for a lot of buyer intent keywords. So good job on that. Um, now let's take a look at your backlinks though. So uh, your backlinks, you got Owens Corning, Porch, Super Pages. So a lot of these are directories. Um, let's see if I can find one that's not a directory. A lot of these are no follow right there. Uh, image content. What's this? Okay. Um, tag and to be near me. Okay. So you've got, you've got a coupons, deli stories, MTG near me. Okay. Um, so some of these that say content are, uh, are good. Um, this is basically a site that you've made. It looks like Clay needs squarefitspace.com. Um, so, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're, now we're going to look at your competitor and see what they're doing differently. Okay. So looking at, uh, we're, we're looking up roofing contractors, Indianapolis, and this gets about 200 volume a month. And first thing you're going to see on a Google search is the ads. Then the Google map pack, uh, which has a ranking factor as well. We'll get that in just a minute. Then you see the organic listings. Um, now we're we're looking for an actual company in the organic listings to be your as your competitor. 
So we're going to skip BBB, Home Advisor, GAF. And so the first company we see is Cochrane Exteriors. So let's check them out real quick. So this is their website. Um, looking at their content. content, content. Okay, so they have about the same amount as you do, it looks like. Maybe a hair more. Okay. So um, next, let's go ahead and take a look at their, their backlink profile. Now you see how they've got a lot more backlinks. Um, they've also, how many keywords did you have? Let me go back to your overview here real quick. Uh, you had 382, whereas they have 543, okay? They're getting 609 traffic. They're getting, what, like three times the traffic you are, okay? Because they're number one for higher volume keywords, okay? Um, so that's what we need to do for you is we need to get to those spe those specific keywords to get higher for, um, find out what keywords they're, they're doing. So if we look at the 543 and we uh, sort it by position here again, so the they're roofing company in Indianapolis, um, that's branding. Indianapolis Roofing, uh, branding, that's not a buyer intent keyword. Buyer intent is what you do and where, where you do it at, okay? That's basically what I mean by buyer intent. So um, siding companies in Indianapolis, uh, they're number one for that, and you're number one for all the other siding words, okay? So they're a big competitor for you, okay? <clears throat> um, Indianapolis Roofing, um, let's see here. What's this 151? Commercial siding. Um, there's a, there's a good one you can go after. So, um, so let's go ahead and look at their backlinks real quick and see what they're, what they're doing there. Okay. So basically what we do when we go into the backlinks is we look at the backlinks they have and compare them to the backlinks you have. Um, and whatever you don't have, if, if theirs is good, if it's good quality, we'll go after that same backlink. Okay. We'll just start we, all we do is hit this export button right here and we build a list. We start going after all these backlinks. Some of them cost a little bit of money. Some of them don't. Uh, most of them don't. Um, but every once in a while, you'll find one that you know they're going to charge you a little bit to be part of their service or whatever. Um, and then you you know you sign up and we're good. So, but a lot of these are directories. Okay. So um, so that means that that if we get all the same directories they have, and then uh, and also get the same good backlinks that they have, um, we can outrank them especially if we put 25, 50, 100 more on there that are high quality as well. It's basically a big popularity contest. The, the, the popular kid in school talks about you in a positive light, you become popular as a result. Um, same thing here, okay? Um, and it's the same thing with, uh, with the directory listings too, which we actually call citations. Um, and uh, that actually moves us on to our, our last thing here, which is this map pack, okay? Um, so there's a number of things that rank you in the map pack. Um, obviously, you know, your star rating and the number of reviews matters, uh, time in business matters a little bit. Um, if you don't have a Google, my business, uh, set up yet, um, go to business.google.com and go ahead and set that up. Okay. Um, when you're setting it up, fill out your profile completely, uh, fill out the description, upload a whole bunch of pictures when you're uploading pictures. And this is very important when you're uploading pictures, make sure you name the pictures before you upload them with a buyer intent keyword, okay, that you're gonna use. Um, and don't name like five pictures the same name either because they'll flag that, okay? So, um, and you wanna do that same thing on your website too. Let's see if you're already doing that. Let me see if I can find a picture that doesn't link out. Uh, okay, this one doesn't link out. Or, nope, that's not doing nothing. Okay, see, uh, I'm trying to find a picture that doesn't link out. Okay, this one doesn't link out. So let's see, save image as, Elite Service, Home Advisor, Ease Roofing, LLC. Okay, so it's at least got your branding in it. Um, but this, uh, Google reads this, okay? Google reads what's on there. And then, uh, and, but that .png, .webp, that's not always that great either, okay? Um, <clears throat> because you want to get rid of that .png in there. So basically somebody took a PNG and turned it into a webp image, um, which are not as secure as PNG images, by the way. Um, they don't ever tell you that when they talk about WebP images. So anyway, um, so, and then the last thing is to get quality and quantity of citations. Very similar to backlinks. However, a citation depends more on your on your name, address, and phone number, and not necessarily the, the link. Um, you want good quality and good quantity to rank you on this map pack. Is there a big difference between these three right here? Not a huge difference on the volume they're going to get. But is there a difference in number three and number four? Absolutely. Number four is like being on the second page, which if you've ever heard the old saying, the best place to hide a, uh, hide a dead body 
is on the second page of Google because nobody goes there. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it for this overview. If you apply these steps correctly, you'll be ranking in no time, put more customers in your pipeline, and put more money in your pocket. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Have a great day.